Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Girls, girls, good morning. It's time to wake up. You want to wake up in time for a healthy breakfast to get dressed, wash your face, brush your teeth. I'm out of bed. Oh, I slept so good. Oh, what? Whose wife is being so loud? Go, go, go away! Molly, we go through this every school morning. Please, just get out of bed. It's 6.30. Who wakes up at 6.30? That is far too early for a human being to be awake. I'm awake. Well, that's because you're a goody two-shoes. <sighs> Molly, you just fell asleep while you were talking. Ugh, fine. I'm up. But I'm not happy about it. Not one little bit. Oh, I hate having to get up early for school. Just think if I didn't have to brush my teeth, get dressed, take a shower, eat breakfast. I wouldn't have to get up until 7.45. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <sighs> but I'm stuck waking up at 6.30 every day. Too tired. Too tired. Molly, you're not even dressed yet. You're going to miss the school bus. I don't care. This is how I'm going to school today. In my pajamas. No, 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 where's the donuts? Molly, there's no donuts today, and you're not wearing your pajamas to school. Uh oh This is ridiculous. We should just be able to go to school and work and what we wear to bed. That way, we don't even have to worry about it in the morning. Molly, you're not going to get away with it. Now, eat something healthy for breakfast, get dressed, and get out to the school bus stop. Fine. Bye, Mom. Have a great day. Bye, girls. Love you. Molly, turn your frown upside down. Bye, Mom. Just drive away. Drive away. You're not going to get a smile. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Molly. What's up? Whoa, Molly. You look so grumpy. What's wrong with you? She woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> like literally. She didn't want to get up. She didn't want to put on her clothes. She basically didn't want to do life today. Is that true, Molly? <laughs> you know, you have to come to school. Yeah, I have to come to school, but do I have to put on clothes and and deodorant and, like, eat healthy and stuff? Well, you should, unless you want to be stinky, stinky doo-doo. I'm not stinky, stinky doo-doo! <laughs> Boogie, you're hilarious. Oh, it's the bell! Come on, Molly! I'll be there soon enough. I've got a little something I need to do. Okay, Molly, but don't get into trouble! <laughs> trouble? Me? Okay, who am I kidding? Trouble's my middle name. The principal's out of her office. Uh -oh. Perfect. This should work absolutely perfectly. Uh -oh. Is this thing on? Brookhaven High students, hear this. From this day forward, well, actually, it would be tomorrow because you're already here. Okay, from tomorrow forward, everyone shall wear pajamas all day long every day or you will get in school suspension bam, bam, bam. we're calling this the pajama era whoa bucky did you hear that the pajama era i don't even know if i have enough pajamas to wear to school every day and they're not even cute really oh daisy leave it to you to have to be a fashionista and wear the cutest pajamas well, if I have to wear pajamas, they might as well be cute. I I can't but help but thinking that was, sort of sounded like Molly's voice over the loudspeaker. Nah, she wouldn't dare go into the principal's office when the principal wasn't there. That's asking for a month of detention. Uh -oh.
Molly, Daisy, come on. It's time to wake up. It's almost 6.30. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. I'm not. I'm going back to sleep until 7.45. Because today, we're in the pajama era, which means I don't even have to do anything but grab a donut on the way into school. <sighs> ah, the good life. <laughs> Look at me in my pajamas. Don't I look cute in my pajamas? Let's do the pajama dance. Let's do the pajama dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonna do the pajama dance. Now, where is that lazy breakfast? Um, ooh, cold pizza. Sounds good to me. Mm. We didn't have donuts, so... Leftover pizza it is. Time to get to school. Hmm. Right on time. I'm freezing in these pajamas. I wish I was wearing real clothes. <laughs> Why don't you wear your pajamas, winter pajamas? Well, because they have holes in the bottom, I really need some new pajamas. Yeah, especially since you're going to be wearing pajamas every single day. Do, 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 do. This is just weird. Well, I normally wear my running suit to bed. Um, So this is what I'm wearing today. Cute jammies, though. I like them, Molly. Thank you, they're very comfy. <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? Yeah, I sort of smell it too. What is that? Oh, I didn't take a shower today. Ew, Molly! What? <laughs> I just wore the pajamas I wore last night. Duh. Well, there's the bell. Better get into class. Good morning. Oh, I'm so tired. Ugh. Why? You're wearing your pajamas. You got to sleep in later. I know, but something about being in my pajamas just makes me think of bed. Oh, I know, I feel so sleepy and lazy. Oh, no test today. What? Are you serious? Did you guys hear that? Where's all the other students? Oh, they didn't even feel like getting out of bed. They just stayed in their pajamas and went back to sleep. I don't know if this was such a good idea. The pajama era just seems, well, lazy. Precisely. <laughs> no work? Uh, can we play on our phones then? Uh, I guess. Watch TikTok. Do whatever you want. Yay! Pajamas every single day was the best idea I've ever had. Oh, I'm so tired. I think I'll just like lay down here in front of the board. Are you okay? Are you sick? No, I'm just feeling so lazy. Not having to get up, take a shower, put on real clothes, it just makes me feel, well, out of sorts. Yeah, I like when you're out of sorts. No homework, no tests, no annoying things about school. Yes, lunchtime! Come on, guys, I'm starving. And I heard it's pizza day. Marty, you had pizza for breakfast. Yeah, but I don't care. Pizza for breakfast, pizza for lunch, pizza for dinner. Hey, Large Marge, I'll have three slices of pepperoni pizza, please. What? Pizza? <laughs> I didn't make pizza. Okay, can we have hoagies then? Didn't make that either. Um, did you make anything? No. What? But you're the lunch lady, why not? Too busy sitting down over here. Actually, I think I'm just going to lay down right here behind the, the counter. What are you talking about? It's pajama day, and I'm feeling kind of lazy. But Large March, we're hungry! So sad, too bad. Too busy laying down in my jammies. Molly, this is going to end badly. Everybody's getting lazy and, and, and sleeping all the time. What if we fall asleep for 100 years and never wake up? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The teacher is sleeping in a sleeping bag in our classroom. I know, isn't it great? No, Molly. This is going horribly wrong. You you really need to stop this. Now, I know that the principal is out to lunch at Starbucks today. She just decided to take the day off because it's pajama day. You can fix this, Molly, by going in on the loudspeaker and telling everybody pajama era is over. Ugh. Well, I guess I could. But I don't think I like this. Molly, please! I need to wear my wool sweaters again. I'm freezing. Okay, fine. But only because I miss Large March making the most delicious school lunch pizzas ever. Uh 
M. May I have your attention, please? Pajama Day era is over. O-V-E-R. We will now begin Halloween costume era. You must wear a Halloween costume every day or you get in school suspension. <laughs> Mrs. Um, Bernard, who are you supposed to be? I'm dressed like the lunch lady, Large Marge. Actually, I forgot my costume and she let me borrow this outfit because I didn't want to get in school suspension. Okay, class, everybody take out your homework, please. I'm still for sick. This cow costume is not very warm. Oh, quit complaining. Halloween every day is so much fun. Planning on trick-or-treating like every single night. Molly, where's your homework? Please take it out. Who's Molly? I'm Mr. Whataburger. <laughs> Mr. Whataburger doesn't do any homework. Molly, Whataburger is a place where you go for dinner. Well, that's all I can think of. <laughs> but I am Mr. Whataburger. You kind of look like Mr. KFC. <laughs> hey, who are you talking to, banana? I'm not sure this is any better than the pajama era. <laughs> today well what's new but this is preschool it's not like you're gonna get detention or homework no i know i just i don't want to go if we're late though you might get a time out i don't want to go okay sometimes i just i want to stay home okay molly that's ridiculous you know we have to go here so that mom can work and we can learn lots of good things just i don't feel very good today don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go in through the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, -poo. Oh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. <laughs> Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I went poo-poo in my pants. Oh. oh. That's so embarrassing. Well, good morning, Molly. Ew. What's that smell? Uh-oh. Did you have an accident? I didn't mean to. I promise. I didn't. <laughs> I, I... I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We'll just we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine. I promise. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, 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 da. Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so... Ew, now she threw up on me! Ew, she really is sick! Oh, Molly.
my, it looks like we're gonna need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna take you, take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm going to take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it just don't feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever <laughs> faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Marley, I just <laughs> threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't you probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh, my gosh. What's... Ew, gross. Another baby threw up. Oh, no. It's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I don't feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me your stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, <laughs> I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that, they, that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see. Who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about, oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? 50 Robux, worth it. <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get... Wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up! Stop picking me up! Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um... Nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um... Oh, whoa! 400 Robux? No, no, no. I'm nothing! I'm, I'm not doing anything! Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly! You just dumped slime on my head. Molly! Oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of time out. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out? 
this is rude! Ah, I wanna get out of here! Let me out! Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're gonna be in timeout even longer! You're so rude! Why is this happening to me, Ma? I'm not a bad kid, it's just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny! Molly, you're gonna stay there until you can calm down. I'm never gonna calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ah, this is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? M Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No! I want to escape, please! Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here! No! Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh. My. Gosh. Guys! I just found an underground maze. What? Underneath Twilight Daycare. Are you kidding me right now? Where's this go? This is insane. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just escaped Twilight Daycare on Baby Jail. And guys, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having the stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs>
Wow, I'm gonna be rich in no time. Huh, <sighs> I'm not rich yet, and I've been here for like 15 minutes. Oh, there's your first customer. Hooray, I'm gonna get rich. Um, hi, good morning, right this way, please. Oh my goodness, these seats are kind of uncomfortable. I'll try this one, yeah, that might be a little better. Nope, this one. Yeah, okay, this one's the perfect one. Well, now that you find the perfect seat, welcome to Brooks Diner. What can I get for you today? Where's your little notebook, waitress? Aren't you going to need that to take my order? No, I have a pretty good memory, especially when it comes to food. <laughs> I remember every single thing I eat. Mmm, delicious. Now what's it going to be for you? Okay, but I want it perfect, so I hope you can remember everything. Don't worry. The special today is a delicious quarter pounder cheeseburger. Yes, that's exactly what I saw when I was looking through the newspaper that it was a dollar fifty, and times are tough for us old people. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, um, let's get to the part where you give me a tip because I need to be rich. What? Oh, nothing. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have the quarter pounder cheeseburger, but okay. Um, what what do you want on the side? On the side? I haven't even told you what I want the cheeseburger. Oh, a cheeseburger. It comes with cheese and a burger and a pickle if you want it. I want half American cheese and half provolone. Um, is that a thing? I know it's a thing because the cook here has made it for me before. Um, is there anything else I can get for you? Yeah. I'd like to have my body back from when I was 20 years old, but you can't give me that. So, I would like a pickle, but I only want a slice of pickle on the top bun. Um, okay, uh, be right back. Definitely do need a notebook for this one. Let's see, she wanted half American, half provolone, and a pickle, but only on one side of the bun. Uh, what can I get you as a side? Well, I, I would like to have some french fries, but I want to dip them in cottage cheese. Ew, gross! Old people like weird things sometimes. What? Nothing! Um, okay, what would you like to drink? Just water, but I'd like a slice of cucumber, a slice of lemon, and a strawberry in it, please. Uh -oh. Um, okay, I can check in the back and see if we have all those things. <sighs> Anything else? Yes, I would also like a, um... Um, let's see, uh, uh, um, uh, a thing of hot water for my feet. They're freezing. Um, okay. Phew, this job's hard, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna be rich. Order up! Here's your drink! What? Oh, no, <laughs> this isn't your drink. This is your hot water for your aching feet. Is this good? Wow, excellent service. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Order up, Molly. Thank you. La, 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 la. Service with a smile. Here you go. Oh, no, 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 no. This is all wrong. Do it again. Wait, what? Why? The pickle is on the bottom. Only the pickle on the top. Well, you could just take the pickle off. No, that's not what I ordered. Okay, well, let me rearrange the pickle. Don't touch my burger. That's disgusting. Okay, I'll have the cook remake it. Sorry about that. Here you go, ma'am. Finally, my order is correct. Sorry about the pickle being on the bottom instead of the top. Where's the top instead of the bottom? I can't remember. But anyway, enjoy. Now I just wait and wait and wait until she leaves me like a big tip. And I'm rich and I can go buy a Porsche and, and a Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Oh, dear. Thank you for being such a nice waitress and getting the pickle right and everything. You're welcome. Here you go, dear. What? Are you kidding me right now? One stinking dollar? I worked, I worked so hard for you. What? I thought that was a good tip. Yeah, 1958. Come on, lady. Give me more money. Uh -oh. Molly, we don't talk to customers that way. You're fired. Ugh, I got one dollar for working for two hours with that lady. I even had to, I had to fix the pickle on her sandwich and everything. No, I'm never going to get rich. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> I've got.
got the perfect idea. Time to go back to my house and find the board game Monopoly. Well, 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 look who it is. The loser poor girl. What? I'm not poor. What are you talking about? Look at all this money. Hey, good morning, Molly. How's your job going? Good. I'm as rich as rich can be. Whoa, Molly's making her red with all the money. She's so rich. That's right. Everybody in the school can have some of my money. So rich, so rich. For that matter, I'm going after school tonight to buy a brand new Porsche and a Louis Vuitton. What? Something about this money doesn't seem right. You were never rich before. <gasps> Is that Monopoly money? <laughs> Molly's not really rich. She's lying. She's a fake. Wait, what? No, it's real money. It it's real. Uh, Molly? Uh, look, I'm throwing it around. I have so much of it. Oh my god, so lame! You're so poor! I, 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 I! Whatever, you'll always be a loser! Me? I, I won't always be a loser! I'll show the world! I'll show them all! Welcome to my secret money printing lair! <laughs> Who's rich now? Me! <laughs> I'm going to rule Brookhaven. I'm going to rule them all. <laughs> I've been printing money for an entire month now. And look at me. I'm so rich, I can't even stand it. I could take a bath in all these monies. <laughs> I, I could swim in all this money. I might do that. I might like make a bed out of money. Then roll around in it! <laughs> well, well, well. Finally, we found you. All this counterfeit money can only mean one thing. What? That I'm super rich? No. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. What? I'm not in trouble. No! Oh, yes, you are. Printing money is quite illegal. Well, well I didn't want to be poor anymore. Well, here you go, off to jail to spend the rest of your life there. What? No, you'll never catch me. <laughs> fast as fast can be. So is it my um, Porsche fast. And, 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 wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, wait, okay, there we go. I couldn't figure out how to get out of my own secret lair. Wait, where's my Porsche? It was confiscated. Uh -oh. Duh. Now, come on, you're going to jail. What? No! And this is how I got locked up for 50 years. Hey. You do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> Ew! Prisoners aren't allowed to fart! Well then quit feeding me all that chili! Besides, it's disgusting! And I don't like it for breakfast! That's enough out of you, criminal. Now I need to go take my Porsche for a little drive. What? That was my Porsche! Wait! Come back! Another day of school. Ugh, oh, don't remind me. Whoa, look at Sarah's car. It's so cool. Yeah, everybody knows that Sarah's really rich and popular. It's just sort of a known fact in school. Hey, losers, good morning. And she's also a bully. Also a known fact in school. Holy guacamole, is that a Ferrari? O-M-G. Whose car is that? Taylor Swift? I don't know, but oh my gosh. Um, hi, are you Taylor Swift? What, me? No. <laughs> my name is Charlotte, and I'm new here. Hi, I'm Molly. Whatever, your car's not that cool. Why are you at my school? She just said she's a new student. You have beautiful hair, Charlotte, and I love your outfit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and this is just my first car. I also have a second and third one. Whoa, you're very cool. She's not that cool. Good morning, class. Everybody, I need you to calm down, please. I have a big announcement. We have a new student. Her name is Charlotte. Hi, everybody. I'm Charlotte. I'm sure we're all going to be the best of friends. 
Oh, that's very nice, Charlotte. You can take a seat anywhere you like. And um, uh, where did you guys leave off in your last class? Oh, we were doing some Algebra 1. Whoa, you guys were advanced. Yeah, but it's okay. I'll just sit quietly and wait till you get to that part in this class. Thanks, Charlotte. What a great student. Um, okay, so can anyone... T okay, um, can you guys share workbooks? All right, thank you. Um, can anyone tell me the answer to number one, please? How about you, Sarah? Oh, wait, your workbook's not out. What's going on, Sarah? I just don't feel like it today. Something made me really grumpy when I got here to school. Okay, Sarah, but I still need you to do your schoolwork, okay? I know the answer! Of course she does, because she drives a cool car and she's super smart. Ugh. Wow, you figured that out even before I did, Charlotte. Thanks for sharing your workbook with me, Daisy. Oh, no problem, Charlotte. I'm a good student, so you can always hang out with me in class. Okay, Charlotte, what's the answer? Um, I'm going to say that it's B. Oh, very good, Charlotte. You really were advanced at your last school. You really were advanced. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't Charlotte just so perfect? Okay, class, that's the bell. Time for lunch. Yes, lunch, my favorite subject. <laughs> I hope we're having something delicious today. Hey, Charlotte, you can sit next to me if you want. Oh, thanks, Molly. That's super nice. Last one to the school lunchrooms, a rotten egg, Daisy. <laughs> and then you have to eat it in a rotten egg sandwich. <laughs> one piece of pizza, one bag of Doritos, and my mom said I have to pick something healthy at lunch. So one green apple, please, Large Marge. And what's that going to be, $5? No charge today, kids. Seriously? Lunch is free? <laughs> no, lunch isn't free. It's just that the new girl, Charlotte, paid for everyone's school lunch today. Wow, that was so nice. Thank you, Charlotte. Of course she paid for everyone's lunch because she's rich and perfect. And now she's going to be more popular than me. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm the most popular girl in school. Molly, what are you wearing? I accidentally forgot my gym clothes at home. And, um, well, I had to pick these out from the nurse's lost and found box. Oh my gosh, Molly, you don't even have sneakers. I don't need sneakers. I can still play soccer. Hey, Charlotte, you want to be on my team? Sure, I'll be on your team. Then I'm definitely being on your team, too. No, Daisy, she's going to be on my team. Don't fight, guys. I'll be on both of your teams. <laughs> I can tell already you're going to be the most popular girl in the entire school, Charlotte. No, she's not. I'm the most popular girl. Well, it seems like not for long. Charlotte is perfect at everything. How are you at soccer? Um, well, I, I'm pretty good. Uh, well, maybe she'll be terrible at soccer. Whoa, look at her footwork. She's amazing at soccer. Ugh, just my luck. Ugh, this is the worst day ever. Where is the rest of the squad? Um, Sarah, well, um, a lot of us caught the stomach bug. I'm finally feeling better and... I didn't ask how you were feeling. We have to win this competition and... Hey, everybody, um, we're ready to do the cheers. I still can't believe you made it on the cheerleading squad. Well, maybe we could open up the squad to some new people. I mean, it seems like Charlotte wants to join. What? No, we'll just do the competition with the three of us. It doesn't matter if everyone else has a stomach bug. We can do it with just the three of us. But what about all the throws and lifts and cheers that need like eight people? At least four people. I don't care. She's not on the squad. She doesn't know any of the cheers. I'm a really fast learner, Sarah. I'm sure that I could figure out the cheers. Watch this. I was a, I was cheerleading captain at my old school. Did you hear that, Sarah? She was cheerleading captain just like you. Maybe she's just as good or even better, which means we could, we could win the competition. Uh-oh. She said that she was better than Sarah. This isn't going to be good. Nobody is a better cheerleader than me. Well, I think we should give Charlotte a chance. Since the whole squad pretty much has the stomach bug, we need as many cheerleaders as we can get for this competition. Ugh, I don't think so. I'm the captain. I get to say what happens to this cheerleading squad. Well, let me just show you what I've got. Okay, guys? Then you can decide. She's amazing! Charlotte, you should definitely be on our squad. 
Yeah, she'll help us win the competition, no problem. Ugh, this cannot be my life right now. I am getting so angry right now. And I'm feeling really jealous and... Ugh. Whoa, what's wrong with Sarah? She looks green. She must have caught that stomach bug and she has to have diarrhea now. Because that's what happened to me. Oh, no. Well, Charlotte, I guess you're the new cheerleading captain. Really? Me? Amazing! Are you serious right now? This is Charlotte's house and she has her own helicopter? Ugh, she is so annoying! I'm starting to get really mad and really, well, jealous! Oh, not again! I've turned green! I'm so jealous! She can't be perfect. No one is ever this perfect. I'll just spy on her and see what her secret is that makes her, well, a loser. Miss Charlotte, can I make you something? A snack or something? Oh, thanks. Um, hmm. Can I have some strawberry shortcake, please? Oh, I whipped up a batch of that this afternoon. Are you kidding me? She has, she has a, a personal chef and maid? Oh, she really does have the perfect life. I can feel myself getting greener by the second. I'm so jealous and angry. But, <laughs> I can always make her look like a loser to everyone in school, even if she's not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. I can't believe I'm going to be in the school talent show. <laughs> this is going to be the perfect song. I just know it. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy Granny, yeah. Thank you for the applause! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh man! She just sang the song I'm gonna sing at the talent show! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! What am I gonna sing now? What am I gonna sing now? Well, I guess I could sing, um, the piggy song. Yeah, that'll have to do! Wow, that's a lot of people! Getting kind of nervous! Okay, here we go. P-I-G-G-Y! Oh! Oh! That's embarrassing! Oh, man! I totally made myself into a laughing stock! Good thing I went to Sephora and bought that makeup that could cover my green, jealous skin. But I won't be jealous for long when I dump this bucket of water on Charlotte's head during her performance. <laughs> That'll show everyone exactly how much of a loser she really is. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I have stage fright so bad. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. I, I'm just so afraid. All those people, what if they don't like me? Wait, the girl who is supposed to be perfect at everything has stage fright? Oh, oh no. Sarah, is that you? I really could use somebody to talk to who's popular and cool. Wait, you think that I'm popular and cool? Yeah, what were you going to do with that water bucket? Um, uh, I saw this circus act where this acrobat jumped into a bucket of water. I thought it would be amazing. Wow, you know how to do that? I know how to do everything. I'm the most popular girl in this school, duh. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. And so didn't almost everyone else. But it seems like maybe, um, well, I even forgot a little. But I remembered now. Wait, you forgot that you were the most popular girl in school? How could you forget that? Well, never mind. It's just good to know that, well, you're not perfect. Well, of course I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. You're not even perfect. Uh, no, I'm definitely perfect. No, no, you're not. No one's perfect. Yes, I am. Okay, Sarah, um, I'm not going to argue with you about this. I'm just too nervous to go on stage. Well, um, just realize that everyone is watching you and they're probably going to think you're terrible. Wait, what? That, that doesn't make me feel any better. Well, I'm just here to tell you the truth, not to make you feel better. Now get out there, sport. It's your turn. And now introducing our new student, Charlotte, who's going to do an amazing dance for us. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. Why isn't the music starting? Um... Uh... My body doesn't seem to be wanting to do what it's supposed to. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. What's going on with Charlotte? Uh, Molly, I think she has a bad case of stage fright. Stop laughing, everybody. That's not nice. 
nothing to see here, people. Just me, the most popular girl, helping out this new girl so, you know, she, she doesn't have to be humiliated in front of the whole school. Oh, thank you, Sarah. I can see why you're the most popular. Get me off the stage. I'm so nervous. It's okay. They're there. Everyone's not going to laugh at you after today because no one's ever going to notice you ever again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming to the show, everyone. I won't be performing here, but you can see my amazing performance at the cheerleading competition tomorrow night. <laughs> and don't forget who's the best in the entire world. Me, Sarah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Come on, Daisy. Let's ask Mom. Molly, she already said no like twice this month. She's not going to say yes if we can get iPhones all of a sudden. Well, maybe if we just wear her down a little bit farther. You gotta just get us a time out, Molly. She's gonna get annoyed. We can ask her really nicely, and if she says no on the first time we ask, then we'll just stop, okay? Ah, <sighs> fine. But if she gets mad, this was your idea. All right, fine, it was my idea. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, hey, Molly, what's going on? Hey, Daisy. What are you up to, Mom? Oh, I'm just washing my hands because I'm going to make some food and, you know, I have to get baby Kira up from her nap. All that fun stuff. Um, Mom, uh, Daisy and I have a question. Um, okay. What is it? Shoot. Um, yeah, Molly, it was all of Molly's idea, so um, she could ask. Daisy, I thought we were in this together. No, you're in this by yourself. <laughs> I'm just here for more support. Okay, let me guess. You both want iPhones. How do you know, Mom? You're such a genius. A mind reader. Molly, quit trying to say nice things to me just so I buy you an iPhone. No, Mom, I really think you are amazing. And the most beautiful mom in the entire world. You look so young. Have I ever told you that? Molly, haven't we already gone over this? Told you she was going to say no. She always says no. Actually, this time I'm not going to say no. Wait, what? You're not? Nope, I'm going to say maybe. A maybe? I'll take a maybe. We finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. So am I. Wait a minute. What makes the maybe turn into a yes, Mom? Yeah, Mom. What makes the maybe turn into a yes? Can I dance on the counter? Molly, get down. Yeah, Molly, before she changes her mind. Well... I know you guys have that big math test coming up, and I was thinking that if you both could pass it, then I'll get you each a new iPhone. Wow. Really? That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. New iPhone, here I come. Oh wait, I'm gonna definitely go study right now and for the rest of the night, so basically I can get a new iPhone. Good luck, Molly. Good luck is right. Mom, do we have to make that why I get the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just... I'm not that great at math, which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. But first I want to watch some TV, because I haven't watched any yet today, and I love watching TV. I won't watch it for that long, just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. OMG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet, and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome. Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, uh, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh, what? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just... I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly. But if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test. Or else you're going to fail. And then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom. You have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, parenting win! Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9.30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter 
and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Marley, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you would study it a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two. What are you doing? Working out. A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh, this math is so hard. Molly, you've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes. Oh, it's so difficult. Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy. I needed that motivation. Oh, my gosh. It's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying. Ah, oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep. <coughs> oh, boy, today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly. Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well, ah, do a little few workout I set up just to wake up my brain. Have some breakfast. And head out the door. Molly, you get to wake up. Molly! <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> what, what, what was that? Oh, wake up, Molly. Wake up! Does that say 9 a.m.? Ah! I'm gonna miss the school bus! Well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole! I'm gonna be late! Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't! Just get me to the end of the day! I'll show you! I'll show them all! I'll just run to school. Yeah! Oh, wait, no, the school bus waited for me. Oh, this is such good news! <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting for me, school bus driver! Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh! You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck! Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush. 15 minutes? Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So, Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know. I thought I was... Doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like 3 o'clock in the morning studying. Oh my gosh, Molly. How are you even standing right now? I don't know. I'm just tired and, and worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm going to eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we passed the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that, even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm gonna get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm going to get with my new iPhone. Ugh, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. 
I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope I have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy, a 92. I'm getting an iPhone! Molly, how'd you do? A 68, two points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed, fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone, and I'm gonna like it. Oh, man. Maybe mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey, girls. Ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. Mom, I'm so excited. You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, mom. So I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess. But don't worry, I... I, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She fell! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But, Mom, it's only two points. I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But, Mom! Sorry, Molly. I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair! Daisy gets everything! I worked so hard! That's not fair! Oh! The next morning. This iPhone has so many features. I can't even believe it. It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, ugh, I don't. I don't even need that phone. It's dumb, and I don't. I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the. I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I fail anyway. Well, I have to get going to dance class, but I'm gonna leave my phone here to let it charge. Cause you know I was too excited when I got it. I didn't let it charge all the way. Ugh. Have you shoes? Have you left yet? Molly, you're being so rude. I get that you're jealous and stuff, but maybe next time, study a little bit longer. Don't just, like, cram at the last minute. I'm sure you could figure it out how to get an iPhone. You're really smart when you want something, Molly. Well, I... I didn't think of it that way. Is that her iPhone over there? <laughs> when I want something, I can just take it. But that wouldn't be really nice, because... Even though I'm like super annoyed that my sister got an iPhone, if I take hers, then I'm just gonna like get caught and get in trouble and that doesn't really solve the problem that I want a new iPhone for myself. How can I solve this? Hmm. Maybe I won't steal her phone. Maybe I'll go talk to Mr. Jared. Mr. Jared! Mr. Jared, you're still here! Molly, what are you doing here? I didn't give you detention for a change. No, I, I need to talk to you. Um, whenever you're done writing that gibberish on the board. Oh, I can't figure out this math equation. My brain just isn't what it used to be. What is it, Molly? Well, you see, I I stayed up till 3 a.m. studying for your math test. Seriously? You've never done that before. I know, and I still got a 68, and I, I guess I'm just asking for help, because I, I thought I knew what I was doing on problems 3, 7, 6, and number 4. Okay, I said those out of order, but you know what I'm saying. And and I, I don't know what I did wrong. Could you help me? Of course, Molly. This is a great step in the right direction for you. Before you just even care about studying or what grade you got, what's the motivation? Well, first it was that I wanted this new iPhone that my mom said I could have if I got a good grade. But now I just feel like an ignoramus because I thought I was studying everything right, but... I guess I was doing everything wrong. Okay, go take a seat at the desk and I'll explain what you did wrong in those pro in those problems. 
Okay, so with number four, you see, if you had just divided the number instead of multiplied it, you would have gotten the correct answer. Oh. All right, so go ahead and take out your pencil and correct what you did wrong on the test there. Okay, um, and now number six makes sense to me too because I just had that one part of the equation um, and I was doing it wrong. Exactly, Molly. See, you're not an ignoramus. And because you showed so much effort, I'm going to give you a passing grade. What? Are you serious? No, I can't give you like a hundred or anything because you still got them wrong. But I think an 80% is very fair in this case. You showed a lot of effort, Molly. I'm proud of you. Oh my gosh. Could you put that in writing, Mr. Jared? Please just put that in writing right here. Um, sure, Molly. N no problem. I can't wait to show my mom. She's going to be so proud of me. I bet she will, Molly. I'm very proud of you too. Mom! 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 Molly, where have you been? Oh my gosh, I was starting to get worried. I knew you were a little angry and jealous of your sister getting an iPhone. Mom, I think I might have actually did the right thing. Wait, what? I went back to school. Wait, you went back to school? Did you have detention? No, I, well, went back and asked for extra help on the problems I didn't understand that I failed on my test. You did? Are you serious, Molly? Totally! At first it was just because I was angry that I didn't get my iPhone, but then I just felt like an ignoramus that I didn't know the answers. Oh, Molly, you're not an ignoramus. Everybody has trouble in some subjects, and it's okay to ask for extra help. Well, when I got it all figured out what I had done wrong, it was a simple mistake. Mr. Jared said that I showed so much progress and so much effort that he changed my grade. Wait, what? Yeah, he even wrote you a little note here so that you knew it was true. Oh my gosh, Molly. He changed your grade from a 68 to an 80. Do you know what that means? That I'm not as dumb as I thought I was in math? Molly, you've never been dumb. You're very smart when you apply yourself and study and work hard. But since you did all of the right things and got an 80%, you get an iPhone. Are you serious? Oh my God, I think my face is gonna stick this way. I'm so happy and excited right now. I'm getting an iPhone, I'm getting an iPhone, and I didn't even have to steal it from Daisy. What, what are you talking about? Nothing, can we go right now to AT&T and get it? Sure we can, Molly. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of me too. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, a sweet and ordinary baby is left on Dan and Laura's doorstep. They adopt her, but soon begin to wonder just how ordinary she is. It seems this baby has superpowers. But will the baby grow up to be a superhero or a villain? Watch this birth to death video all the way to the end to find out what happens. And guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. So Dan, what should we do for dinner? I don't know, um, what about pizza? Dan, we had pizza last night. Yeah, but pizza's so good. Well, I guess we could order another pizza. I mean, we are adults, so we can have pizza two nights in a row, right? Yeah, and as long as we order a salad too, like, pff, it's healthy, right? Sure, sure it is. Oh, <sighs> today was such an ordinary day. Yeah, but ordinary's good, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just wish something really cool would happen for a change. Well, sometimes I wish that too. Whoa! The pizza place read my mind! Can't even believe that. Dan, I'm sure they didn't read your mind. We didn't even call for the pizza yet! Yeah, but the pizza delivery guy just left it on the front step! Or maybe it was Amazon. I did order that baby llama. What? A baby llama? S seriously? <laughs> No, but I did order a bunch of shampoo, conditioner, and a bunch of other stuff that I needed. Oh, you're always ordering from Amazon. I know, they have such good deals. Whoa, this box is heavy. Are you sure you didn't order a baby llama? I'm pretty sure, Dan. Bring it in here. I can't wait to see my new shampoo. Oh, only you could get excited about shampoo. <coughs> what was that? Sounds like your baby llama's crying. I didn't order a baby llama. It was a joke. Well, it, 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 it's coming from the box. Did you cry? Did you order crying shampoo? Is that like a new thing? Makes your hair super shiny when it cries. 
Uh, no, Dan. There's no such thing as crying shampoo. Then why is this box from Amazon crying? Um, I don't know. But I think we better open it and find out. <coughs> Just a little bit of tape here. And okay. OMG! It's a... It's a... It's a... Baby! <coughs> what? A baby? Oh my gosh! Oh, this is insane! Why Why would somebody drop off a baby? I don't know, but wow, she's adorable. She is quite cute. Hi, little baby. Hi, oh. I think we should name her Molly. Well, we can't name her yet. Maybe maybe someone is actually missing her. Uh, maybe, but I want to keep her. Dan, we need to call the police. Okay, but can we keep her if the police say we can? Yes, I think she'd be a great addition to our family. I agree. Hi, Molly. Hi, hi. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, well, it's not really an emergency. It's kind of the best thing ever happened to us, but, um, well, someone delivered a box and... Oh, wow. Did you get a package from Amazon? What'd you get? Did you get that new shampoo? Oh, uh, no. My wife ordered that, though. But listen, there was a baby inside the box. What? Are you serious? Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, you need to know our address, right? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, Brookhaven Lane. Seriously? Your address is one, two, three, four? Hey, I didn't make it up. The town decided it. But yeah, it's a pretty easy address to remember. I'll be right there. Oh, hi, little baby. Oh, I so hope I get to be your mommy. <coughs> oh, Dan, I think she's hungry. Okay, well, um, panicking. What should I do? I wasn't expecting a baby. I can't exactly feed her pizza. Hello, police, open up. Okay, you can come on in. All right. Where's the baby? Oh, I'm holding her over here. Oh, she's so adorable. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have a seat if you want to. <laughs> uh, make yourself at home, police officer. Well, I checked on the way over, and no one is missing a baby. This baby hasn't even been reported missing. So maybe someone delivered it to you on purpose. Really? Like the stork or something? I don't know. But this baby has not been missing. It hasn't been reported at all. So if you want to adopt her, you can. Really? We'd love to adopt her! Aww. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Molly. Yeah, isn't that a great name? Aww, that's an adorable name. Well, if you need me for anything else, let me know. Just call 911 and I'll come to the rescue. Wow, I wasn't expecting a song. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I sort of moonlight as a singer. Oh, you're very good at it. Okay, back to the baby. <laughs> Good luck with your singing career or being a police officer or whatever you do. Bye! Okay, well, I guess I better go on the computer and fill out the paperwork. <laughs> if we're going to adopt this baby, we need to make it legal. <laughs> I love this cat video. Dan, focus! We're trying to adopt Molly here. It's very important. I'm sorry, I got a little distracted by the cat video. <laughs> it was super funny. Okay, that paperwork's been filed. She's our daughter. Oh, Molly, I can't believe it. Turned out to be, well, an extraordinary day. Yeah, here we were wishing that something really awesome would happen, and now it did. Well, I guess if you wish for something, it really can come true. Yeah, it really can. Oh, it's getting very late. You need to go night-night. Come on, little baby. I'll feed you a bottle, and then I'll put you to bed. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Oh, good night, sweet Molly. I'll see you in the morning. Laura, I can't believe we became parents today. I know, right? Ugh, but being a mom is very tiring. Good night, Dan. Good night, Laura. Well, so much for going to bed. Yeah, I'll get her. 
Molly, Molly, <gasps> Molly! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where's her stroller? Where's the baby? Oh my God! Oh, Dan, the baby's missing. Dan. What? Huh? huh what? I left the stroller here, and and, and and now it's gone. Wait, you put the baby in a stroller? What about a crib? Dan, we don't have a crib yet. We haven't even gone to the store. We weren't even expecting a baby, so I just had a stroller left over from my cousin visiting, and she left it here, and so I thought, well, that would be a perfect place for the baby to sleep, and now the baby is gone! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Maybe the baby just rolled away. I mean, the stroller does have wheels. No, I locked the wheels, and where's she gonna roll? The door was closed. I don't know, but... Wait a minute. I hear her. Sounds like it's coming from downstairs. Come on. M Molly? Are you watching Brookhaven High? Molly? How did, how did she get down here? I don't know, but she turned on the TV. She seems to like Brookhaven High. What? She's a baby. She couldn't do that. Uh, she's no ordinary baby. Well, I don't know, Dan, but it does seem kind of strange. Okay, Molly, it's time for a nice, delicious dinner. Ooh, that smells good, like Thanksgiving. No, I don't want to eat that. Oh, it's so good for you. Come on, you will love it. No, thank you, yucky. Molly, it's very healthy for you so you grow up big and strong. Here you go, Molly. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? Ew, I don't want it. <laughs> That's much better. Wait a minute. Did she just turn her, her turkey dinner into ice cream? She's no ordinary child. Well, you sort of have a point, Dan. Mmm, ice cream, yum. Oh, look at her. She's still crawling. Yeah, but she needs to learn how to walk, Laura. It's time. Okay, Molly, watch Mommy. Watch Mommy. See how I walk? See? <laughs> so cool, right? Don't you want to walk? No, I don't want to walk. You have to walk, Molly. Come on. Just try it. It's going to be fun. I crawl. I, I crawl. I I don't know. I crawl. No, come on. Walking's so fun. Just try it one time. And if you don't like it, you never have to try to walk again. Well, Dan, I wouldn't tell her that. I mean, she eventually has to walk. What's she going to crawl to prom? Uh, yeah, good point. Come on, just try it, Molly. You're gonna like walking. Okay, I try once. Oh, she's standing up, Laura. Okay, now just one foot in front of the other, Molly. Whee! Whee! Um, Dan, she's walking really fast. I keep telling you, she's no ordinary child. I ran into things. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Molly. Trust me. You're going to learn how to to walk just soon enough. Uh, I think she already knows how to walk, Dan. I think she just has to learn how to not run into things. <sniffs> wow, all that fast walking really made her tired. Well, time for a nap then. Oh, man, I forgot my lunch money. Give me your lunch. Um, I could share it with you if you want, or you could borrow the money from me, but I need to have lunch because I have gym after, and I'm going to be super hungry. No, I don't want half your lunch, and I don't want your money. I just want your lunch. Um, I don't... I don't want you to take my lunch. Please, please don't take my lunch. Uh, hello? I'm taking your lunch. Give it to me. But... But that's my lunch. Not anymore, loser. Now it's my lunch. What? What is this? What? She just stole Brookie's lunch? I'm really hungry. I, 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 I need that food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Brookie, it's, it's going to be okay. I, I'll help you get your lunch back. You will? How? She's the biggest bully in school. Don't worry about a thing. Watch this. Here you go, Brookie. What? Uh, how, how did you do that? <gasps> You're a witch! She's an evil witch! I am not a witch. How did you do that, Molly? Never mind how I did it. Here's your lunch. I'm going to get you detention forever because you're a witch! Ugh, she's so annoying. Come on, let's have lunch. Do you want to share with me, Molly? Nah. 
I brought my own. Molly, that's not a healthy lunch. Mmm, but it's a delicious one. Ooh, they've got pizza too? Oh, that looks so good. After I finish this, of course. What'd you get? A cheeseburger and some fries and stuff. Mmm, well, I'm glad you got your lunch and Sarah didn't. Yeah, she is a total witch. Yep, I saw it with my own eyes. Witch. Evil witch. I know. I couldn't believe it either. But it's the truth. Hmm. This new ice cream shop has the most delicious ice cream in the whole world. Ah! Help! I don't know how to swim! Oh my gosh! That little kid is drowning! Don't worry! I'll save you! I'm gonna get out! Okay, hang on to me. Hang on to me, okay? No! I it's gonna be okay. Just get on my shoulders, okay? Ah! Oh my gosh! You, you, you just saved that little girl. She's a superhero. Oh my gosh! I, I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. Um, uh, it's just kind of something I do, you know. Like I walk around town, and um, well, I, I just help people who need help. Oh my gosh! You're amazing. Oh. Gee, thanks. I, 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 I was just being myself. Yourself is pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lily, you're so adorable. Sweet little girl. I think your daddy's going to be home from work soon. Molly, Lily, I'm home from work. See? <laughs> I can just tell when people are coming to the house even before they get here. Something in my brain just tells me. Oh, there's my girls. Oh, my family. Hey, Luke, how was work today? It was good. You know, I just saved some people, and but I'm not a superhero like you. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and you're my superhero. And Lily's too. What's for dinner? I was thinking pizza. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, the superhero phone is ringing. Here, look, take the baby. Hi, baby, hi. Superhero Molly. <coughs> what? He okay, I'll be right there. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm getting takeout again. Sorry, but duty calls, honey. Bye. We love you, Mommy. Oh, man, it's raining. I just got my hair done. Honey, I'm home. Oh, there you are, dear. Oh, looking as beautiful as... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to your teeth? Ah, one of the villains knocked them out again. Oh, dear. <laughs> are you ever going to give up being a superhero? You're getting old now. We're both in our 70s. I feel fit as a fiddle. Oh, you got some groceries, I see. Nah, this is the bag with my teeth in them so the dentist can put them back in. Oh, oh, I was hoping you would have stopped and got me some Maalox. <laughs> My stomach kind of upset. Oh, Luke, <laughs> you and your stomach. Oh, I'm just getting too old. Nonsense, you're not that old. I am, though. Oh, I could die at any moment, actually. Oh. Luke, Luke, say something. Oh, my time is coming to an end. But it looks like you have super genes, Molly, and you don't age, so you'll be around long after me. <laughs> Luke! No! I can't live without you, Luke! You're the love of my life! <laughs> Seriously, Luke, say something! Anything! Oh no, I've outlived him! I'm gonna outlive everybody because I'm a superhero and I have... Superhero jeans. Oh. I can't believe it. Dad died. But mom, you still look like you're 25. I know. It's just, it's my super jeans. It basically means that I'm going to outlive everyone. Mom, I'm just sad that dad died. I know, honey. I'm sad too. Your dad was a wonderful person. Mom, I, I have a confession to make. What? What is it? Um, well, for one, I think you should have your teeth put back in. Don't worry, I saved them in a bag, see? <laughs> I'm ready to go to the dentist any day now. Once we get the funeral and everything over. Ew, Mom, that's gross. Your teeth are in a bag? Yeah, well, I had to keep them if the dentist is going to put them back in. Um, Mom, I've got to show you something. 
Okay, I'm I'm watching. What? She's running super fast. Lily? Oh my gosh. Sh sh she's a... That's right, Mom. I'm a superhero. I'm probably going to live forever, too. Lily, that's great news! We'll never be alone, and we can save the entire town of Brookhaven from, from villains! That's right, Mom. I just hope I keep all my teeth. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a part of the job. Your dad would be so proud. Thanks, Mom. Thanks.